Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a second reading today. Uh, today is the day of the Lionsgate portal and a new moon. It's a very powerful day. It's a day I feel for doing quite deep and searching readings on quite large topics. And the topic that I want to do now using my Radiant Wise Tarot is Harry and Meghan as a modern morality tale and the ten of swords you can't see but the ten of swords has just come flying out as i'm shuffling uh there it is and uh we put it back in and then carry on shuffling i want to know basically why we are so fascinated <coughs> excuse me by the story of harry and megan archetypal story really what lesson does the universe want us to learn from this show that we are witnessing, that we are participating in? And talking of participating, can our energy, our collective energy, actually change the outcome or affect the outcome of the situation? Two of Cups come out, interesting card too. And what will be the outcome of this morality tale for us? So it's a reading really for us. What's going on? Why are we so interested? What should we be learning? Can our energy affect what's going on? And it is from our perspective. Uh, because I have been fascinated by the story since literally the first day. And I have been bothered by the fact that I have been so fascinated by it. I've, you know, wondered, quite honestly, I've wondered about my mental health from time to time. Am I mad for being so obsessed with these two, two really very uninteresting people? The only thing that's interesting about them is how faulty they are, how destructive they are how self-absorbed they are, how awful they are, how really awful. Um, so, morality tale. Let's see if there is one, if there are things that the universe wants us to know about this, if there are reasons why we are all so engaged and so involved in this situation and whether our involvement in this situation will actually affect it. The outcome and lo and behold at the bottom of the deck uh, is herself the queen of wands megan queen of wands in the reverse so there she is and her um very negative energy her self-absorption her ego her narcissism tarot reading entertainment purposes only my opinion only but there she is and she is the one who's come up as the underlying energy of this reading and i have to say that underneath is the eight of cups in the reverse so we're all stuck in this mess together we aren't moving on from it anytime soon much as we would like to but it's her energy and she is the one who has come in to this situation and caused all this trouble destabilized everything upset everyone uh, exposed egos exposed masks exposed narcissism and brought this trouble into the royal family and brought this trouble into all of our lives this trouble that we are all so obsessed with so what is the situation currently and we get the two of cups in reverse and that is uh, that card came out in the when I was shuffling. Two of Cups in reverse, and this is of course the breakup card, the partnership that's falling apart. And interesting that we all sense that there is a breakup coming, and we all hope for it. Really, uh, honestly, we want to see it. We want to see it over. We want to see it finished. And that is a very powerful energy. That that is the situation right now that is going on in this little morality tale that the two that pretend to be so lovey-dovey uh, and Romeo and Juliet are anything but. It's a farce and we know it. We can see through it and they are fake. They are a fake couple and everything about them is fake 
and we want that exposed. So what is the our obstacle in the quest for justice and seeing this truth? And we get the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And the Eight of Wands is, of course, um, things not happening fast enough, things being blocked uh, from happening. And there is a sense of frustration for all of us that we want things to move swiftly to a conclusion, and they are not. And also because it's the Eight of Wands, which is the communication card, uh, we feel battered and bruised and bombarded by all these PR messages that come out from Montecito, that come out from this fake couple. And um, underhanded messages, they're not honourable messages, they're not true messages, it's PR, abuse, lies, uh, distortions that we know, we see it and we want it to end, absolutely to end. Caused by this, this energy, this woman. I want to say fallen woman. So I'm going to say fallen woman. Terror reading, my, my, my opinion only. But this fallen woman has caused this. And what is the root cause, really? Even though I'm saying that she is the cause of it. What is the underlying cause, the root cause of this situation that has us all so unhappy, all so fascinated by this wretched couple? And it is ruin. It's the card of ruin. We're watching someone who has been ruined. Ten of Swords. That's Prince Harry. Reputation has been ruined. Somebody that we thought was a good egg. Uh, that we thought was the nice one in the royal family. The relatable one. Uh, ruined. Absolutely ruined by this woman. Ruined. Ruined. Uh, trying to claw back his reputation or ruined beyond repair, really. And I'm getting ruined beyond repair in this card here. We're watching someone's downfall and, yeah, a car crash. And it is fascinating, but it is there but for the grace of God kind of energy that we're all looking at. He's taken this fall so that we don't have to. And I'm not getting uh, religious and, you know, uh, I'm not trying to paint him as some kind of messiah. But he has somehow taken all those swords into himself and died. And we are watching that happen. Very strange. I am getting a very strange vibe off that card. I'm not going to go any further um, with that uh, metaphor that energy but take it for what for what it's worth that's what i'm getting what should we be focusing on uh right now and there is the ten of pentacles there is this desire to push us in the direction of uh happy families everything is wonderful, everything is great, we're going to be there forever, our lineage, our mansion in Montecito, our dogs, our, our luxurious lifestyle, and aren't we lucky? We're being told to focus on the money, the glamour, the status, the perfect life, um, the Botox, um, Meghan Markle in every video gets to look more and more glossy you know like a horse that's eating the best possible hay or whatever horses eat i don't know and i apologize but her coat looks shinier and shinier in every video and the sense of abundance and the carefully pl uh, placed hermes throws and all the rest of it deflecting from this ruin and this fakeness of this couple, they're absolutely false. But we should all be so envious of them, so jealous, so admiring of their luxury, their status, their achievements, their wealth. That is what they're trying to focus us on to turn us away from this ruin that is happening down here. What has happened in the recent past in our little morality tale? My goodness, the tower in reverse, which is exactly the same card in exactly the same position as came out in the reading I did 
earlier today about the British royal family as a battleground between good and evil. Now, I did these two readings very deliberately today on this day of very intense energy and this card is telling me absolutely emphatically that the two readings are connected, that Harry and Meghan very nearly brought the royal family down and it very nearly brought them down too. That is their downfall. They are the ones falling from this tower. They are the ones being struck by lightning, cast out of the tower and falling to the ground. So they, in the past, have suffered a very public humiliation, a very pu public crashing down, tumbling down, and they are trying to recover from it. They are trying to recover from it but very negative energy around them at the moment with this Ten of Swords and with this Two of Cups and also with this Eight of Wands. And so, yes, uh, poisonous energy around them. What is coming up next for them in the Little Morality Tale? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And that, of course, is the lady who loves to merch not being very successful at it. She's not going to Meghan Markle. She's already come out in reverse here as the Queen of Wands. That's her publicity, her temper, her self-absorption. And this is her desire to be wealthy, to be seen as wealthy, but not succeeding. She's going to be feeling very insecure financially she's probably going to be obsessed with money but when wasn't she obsessed with money but she's not going to be succeeding and it is also the good wife card the stable homemaker the generous nurturing energy this card in the reverse is anything but here is a, a, a terrible temper a vicious and nasty woman and this equally this is a woman who undermines she doesn't support she works against people, she's only interested in money, she's grasping, she's mean, she's nasty. This woman's energy is really coming out screaming and it's going to be seen. It's going to be seen for what it is. She is going to be seen for what she is, as if she's not already, but there is a sense here that she's going to be exposed for what she is, what she stands for. So. In here, I'm asking my very specific questions, as I sometimes do in these readings. Why are we so fascinated by this tale of these two terrible people? And it's the King of Pentacles in the reverse. And again, this card came out in exactly the same place in the reading I did previously on the British royal family and what they represent, the battleground between good and evil. We are so fascinated because... We are seeing what should be stable, what should be our, our energetic anchor in this 3D world that we live in. The King of Pentacles is stability, is good leadership, is paternalism in the best sense of the word. This idea that there is this family that is so stable that's going to look after us and and guide us and the world is going to stay safe in the reverse it's all turned upside down this character is now unstable untrustworthy um, ugly and we see it and also money is being uh, mis misused resources are being misused uh, funneled into things that they shouldn't be um, this network of of secret government, secret organizations, of secret power structures. We're fascinated by this because we know this. And again, we want this to be exposed. We want this, whatever this shadow government, and I don't want to get all tin, tin for your hat and, and conspiracy and reptiles and, you know, the blood of infants and freezers in the basements of Buckingham Palace. I don't want to go there in this channel. Not interested in that. Um, not that I'm not interested in it. It's not the energy that I want to bring here. But we sense this. We sense this about them, that they are part of this trouble, part of this nefariousness, part of this destabilizing energy and this corrupt energy. I get corruption from here. That is why we are fascinated. So what lesson does universe want us to learn from this? We're obviously all fascinated. We're hooked. We've been watching this for years. What lesson 
And that is the, the, the contemplation, the taking stock card. Universe wants us to look at our own lives and actually be grateful for what we have. It wants us to sit there and say, we've got enough. What we have is not this, is not the discontent that this lady has, is not the corruption and the uh, stockpiling of resources that this King of Pentacles in reverse has. But we have enough. We in our little peasant outfit here, we've got our pentacle, we've worked really hard, we've been diligent, we've been honest, we've been careful, and we have our pentacle, and our pentacle is enough. Be content with your lot in life. Don't be persuaded by this illusion, this misdirection that is going on. Uh, the glossiness, the shine, the face that gets fuller and fuller, the wrinkles that disappear, the hair that gets straighter and straighter. Don't be fooled by it. Ho, you know, keep your keep keep in your lane. Look after your side of the street. Do what you're supposed to be doing. Be diligent. Be good. Be ethical. Work hard. Be 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 um, careful uh, with your resources. Don't, don't abuse them, don't squander them, don't be greedy and think about what you have. Be, be thoughtful about the way you live your life. Uh, I'm preaching but that's the energy that's coming off that card. I'm sure you're all doing that anyway but that is what universe, according to this reading, wants us to do, the lesson it wants us to learn in case we haven't already. Now, very important question. Can our energy, our collective energy, actually affect this tale, this story that we're all seeing unfolding? Can it affect it? And I'm getting the magician in reverse. Now, the magician in reverse is not manifesting. If the card had come out like this, I would say, yes, we can do magic we can light candles, we can do spells, we can do whatever. I'm being a bit facetious here, but yes, we can influence it. We can make things happen. We absolutely can. In the reverse, no. In the reverse, it's don't go there. Don't do stuff. Um, don't mess with things. Don't uh, get involved. This is trickster energy. This is dangerous energy. Don't try things. Don't universe has the story in hand. Sit and watch from the sidelines. Be grateful for what you have, but don't try and influence it. Don't think that you can influence. Watch and learn. Don't mess with it. Very dangerous to mess with it, I would say. Very, very dangerous to mess with it from this card. A very clear hands-off. This is up to universe. So, final card for this reading. Um, in this current timeline, with this current scenario, what is going to be the outcome of this little morality uh, tale that we are witnessing? What is the outcome? As I said, universe has it in hand. And we don't need to worry. And we don't need to get down and dirty. Ten of Cups in the reverse. It's going to end badly for them. The fake couple here, the two of cups in reverse, the fake couple is going to be exposed. They're not going to get their happy ever after. They will rue the day that they set about doing the things that they did, that they tried to bring the royal family down. They really will rue the day. This person will be ruined this person is not going to make the money, not going to get the status and the acclaim and the security that she thought she was going to get. This little fake family is going to be exposed for the fake family that it is. It's going to end unhappily for them. And that is truly an appropriate ending for a morality tale like this. Ten of Cups in reverse is the absolutely perfect ending for this little tale and I'm not saying that out of viciousness or cruelty or schadenfreude or anything like that. 
the universe has this well in hand, this tale of ruin, this tale of these two fake people and their PR game that they're playing and their desire to bring things down and their, their greed and their graspingness and their fakeness and their plasticness, uh, their obsession with luxury and all that goes with it. Down it comes, down it comes, don't worry about it, sit and watch. Happy ending for us, not so happy ending for them. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you tomorrow with further readings.